Traversing the vast expanse of space may seem glamorous and comfortable, but it's not. Space? Space is hard. Don't believe me? Try working down in the lower decks. Congratulations again, Ava, on your promotion. We're really proud of you. Yeah, proud. Oh, thanks, guys. And I'm sure your parents back home are really proud, too. So proud. Yeah, I'm sure they will be once the communique gets back to Earth. Well, I, for one, am excited to have someone down here in the Crawlway Junction spilling all kinds of new dirt about what's going on in the upper decks. Which reminds me, I heard from Carlson that Lieutenant Commander Harwell has had diarrhea for three weeks. He hasn't reported for duty since June. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, guys, that's something I wanted to talk to you about. You've seen Harwell poop his pants? <laughs> <laughs> no! What is it then? You're not, you're not getting transferred, are you? No, no, that's not it. Um, I just... I don't think I should be coming to the Crawley anymore. I mean, if we're being honest, nobody should be hanging out down here in this junction anyway. Not that any sane person would want to if they saw your taste in decoration. Hey now, who wouldn't want to be down here? It is a great part of the ship to be in. Yeah, I mean, if you have something to work on. But we've just been hanging out down here to get out of work. And Hawkins, this isn't even your department. Well, it is my sworn duty to make sure that every part of this ship is safe and secure as possible. And it just so happens I think some parts of this ship need more securing than others. Especially when I'm off duty. But listen, Ava, you're not going to rat us out, are you? Because I wouldn't be able to take that bubble wiping no. look on Pitch's face. No, of course not. I just wanted to come down here and soak it all in. Celebrate and... Say goodbye one last time. Uh, no, really, it'd be great if you didn't rat us out. So you mean this is goodbye? Just to the junction. I'm sure I'll see you guys around ship. And we can always meet up in the bar. Yeah, of course. Boo, we hate the bar. You hate the bar. I hate the bar. Well, I've got to go prepare for duty. See you later. Yeah. What? She'll be back. And hey, it's not like there are that many people wandering around our floating metal box. We'll still see her around ship. No, that's not it, man. Can you keep a secret? Yeah, of course. I've, I've always had a thing for Ava. Oh, is that so? Yeah, she's actually the whole reason I joined Colonial Command. Wait, you knew Ryder before the Academy? Oh yeah, we grew up together in Trans-Siberian, Ohio. I liked her from a very young age. All I want is food, shelter, and enough money to never take a bath again and for no one to call me out on it. I think I want to be a space explorer when I grow up. Oh yeah, me too, that sounds way better. I pretty much planned my whole life so that I could be around her. I followed her all the way through the academy, studying engineering just like her. What's up with the makeup? It was a sensitive time, don't worry about it. Welcome to Colonial Command, Cadet. But I'm not a brave man. You okay, son? Sure. Well then, welcome to Colonial Command, Cadet. So I never got up the guts to tell her, or anyone for that matter, how I felt. Seriously? Seriously. <sighs> Computer, what's the current time? The current time in Trans Siberian, Ohio. No, is no, stop, not there, here. Time. 
better get back to my station before somebody comes looking for me. Yet another successful day of work. And what work would that be? It's Terrence. We were uh, just checking some fuse connections over in section four. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shut up, Ensign. Your being in the crawlway is completely unnecessary. I should report you. Report me for checking fuse connections? Shatner sheets, bitch. You mean Shatner sheets, sir. Sir, if you want to report us, you can. Fine, I will. Okay, do it. You can plan on it. I will plan on it. Okay, I'm headed there now. Okay, good. Dude, shut up. Yellow alert. <laughs> this is Ensign Hawkins checking into security station 12, monitoring potential engineering breaches. Affirmative. Connor, pay attention to the electrical systems in the rear quarter. I sir. Ma'am. Ma'am. So, what stopped you from talking to Ryder about your undying Dude, love? Dude, shut up! No, I'm super curious. You mean you've never even hit on her? Red alert. No, never have. That's messed up, man. <laughs> if you've known her as long as you have, which is what, like 10 years? Or like 17. Electrical trip in section eight. I'm on it. 17 years? That's way too long. What are you, a eunuch? Electrical safeguards activated in section eight. No, I'm not a eunuch. I just, do you want to screw things up? Well, how can you screw something up if something never exists? Systems overheating. Look, I love her, okay? I've loved her since the first moment she looked at me from across the room and brushed that luscious hair out of those gorgeous blue eyes. I love her even though every time I think about asking her on a date, I end up spending three hours in front of a mirror trying to psych myself up only to end up vomiting in the excrement disposal shaft instead. I have followed her through thick and thin and I will continue to follow her to the end of the galaxy if needs be. So yes, something exists, it's friendship. And I'm sorry, but I cannot blow that. I hope you've added a freaking awesome ball pit to that friend zone you've made for yourself. Uh, no sir. Uh, of course not, sir. <laughs> no, no, no ball pit, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Um, oh, uh, no, won't happen again, sir. Sorry. That was, that was beautiful. So what are you going to repair that electrical doohickey in section whatever? Section eight. I'll get right on it my next shift. It's probably not even broken, really, just uh, bad things. Do you have a moment? Of course, sir. Uh, gentlemen, have either of you noticed signs of Gasper poison on this level? Uh, what's Gasper poison? Deadly. Um, no, sir. Hmm. I've also heard reports from Lieutenant Littlefield that there was some unnecessary conversation today down in engineering. Please let those involved know to never let it happen again. Yes, sir. Dismissed. Doctor, I'm having this back and forth with the ship's computer, uh, and I think I have fecal urea. Could you please take a look at it? Hey, Ryder. How was your first day as a lieutenant? Unnerving. Alert stations are very different than what I'm used to. Yeah, can you tell us what that was all about? Earlier with the red alert and damage to the ship? No idea. I was stationed on deck six watching the drive coil the whole time, and I haven't had the nerve yet to speak to any senior officers. Come on, why don't you just ask him yourself? Are you kidding? Just talk to a senior officer? Yeah, Connor. You were just speaking with Lieutenant Commander Caldera. Why didn't you ask him then? <laughs> if they don't think we need to know, we don't know. You know, that's just how it is. It's always been that way for junior officers. Oh, hey, Milan. You hear anything about what was going on earlier? No, nothing yet. But you know I couldn't say anything even if I had. Sure, can't tell us anything. Yes, I'm sure. On my last ship, discussing ship status called for swift and severe... You, you know what, Malone? I could really go for a ginger ale after the last two hours. Ginger ale? Was? And the red alert only lasted for 15 minutes. It felt like an eternity. And for you? Uh, root beer, please. What? I got duty in 10 minutes. Come on, right up. 
So, what do you have tonight? Just sitting at a patrol station, hoping nothing bad happens. No, I got lucky and I have brig guard duty again. That's three shifts in a row. But we don't have any prisoners right now. Exactly. It'll be nice and quiet and no danger at all. You are one strange security officer, my friend. There you go, lads. A root beer and a ginger ale. Now you have a nice evening and let me know if you need anything else. Or don't. That'll be grand too. So, what do you guys want to do tomorrow after our shifts? I don't care. All the days seem to roll together when you're working in the lower decks. It's true. No overarching storyline, no connections with outside the ship, no details about where in space we are. I wouldn't be surprised if we were still orbiting Mars right now. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't make a difference. Oh, come on, it's not bad. This is why we joined Qualcomm. Endless adventure, even down on the lower decks. Yeah, that's not why Connor joined. <laughs> yeah, it is. I was there when he joined, and that's what he said. Yeah, man. I totally joined for the adventure. To the lower decks!